versus the uh, mouse. A nice striping underneath of him. It has a nice coloration. This neck is from the uh, area of um, the uh, Pacific. Looks like a death adder. When I first saw it, I thought it was a water moccasin or a cottonmouth, based on the shape of this triangular head. If you look closely, you can see his teeth, size mouth there. A very colorful snake, but pretty in his own right. <coughs> Got a better view of the two. Probably the smartest thing to be doing. Eventually he'll eat it though. He's fully stretched out. He's maybe at the length of this um, of this um, 10 gallon fish tank. Not a very big snake. He's pretty much fully grown now. Might get to be about three or four feet long. He's finally done. Going for a swallow for real this time. He's turned away from me, not making this very easy on me. He's, as I said, he's obviously a very calm snake. That's how I know I can be in here this close. I'm pretty much inches away from him. And I can reach out right now with my pinky and touch him. I'm not going to. I don't want to distract him. I think snakes are a really bad case of ADD sometimes. <coughs> See his jaws sticking out in the back. That's what makes it look like he has venom glands. However, it's completely harmless to humans, not so to mice. Look at that triangular shaped head and bulges. Just amazing. I got him when I first. Look at those muscles. I don't see any bark in the mouth, so he shouldn't be getting impacted or anything. It's got some bark on him. He likes to stay in his water bowl for the most part. He just stays there most of the time. Pretty calm. I'll take him out to handle him to make sure he's still friendly and he is. Um, he doesn't want to his time for close up. So he it's pretty much a hand's length away from his face right now. Man, he is shoving it in there right now. He would just back up and just there we go. He listened to me, look at that. Look at his instincts, dude. Oh, 
about these really doesn't really right now. Boring. Just with me talking in the background. Obviously here for educational purposes. Video and get this close. So haha. Uh -huh. Oh wow, what is that? Oh, it's his eyes, huh? All these large bulbs on his head sticking out. Look like an open place. Got me worried. It was just his eyes. I said his eyes are really hard to tell from the rest of his body. So it's probably a protection in the wild. Um, really blends in. Really nice camouflage. If this guy were in the leaf litter, you wouldn't be able to see him just walking up. It means you wouldn't mess with him. Which is also what the death adder uses to um, attack its prey, but he uses it for defense. To look, look like the death adder, which uses it as to get the prey. So, when I first got him, he didn't eat for about a month. I tried, he just wouldn't eat. So, finally, he's eating on a more regular basis now. Makes me rest easier. Normal animals are well fed and happy and content disease-free individuals. I'm pretty much a finger's length away from this face right now. He is focused right now. Nice, calm, docile snake. There we go. One last mouse smile. It's like sitting up like a, like a cobra right now. Like of course, the part that's sticking up is probably most of the mouse, which is why you can't really bend over. There we go, final stretch. Got one foot sticking out. If I saw this guy in the wild, I probably would not mess with him. This is his trump card. This is guy by a long tongue. Some mosses. Let's see if we can get those teeth. Get those razor sharp teeth in the bottom there. He's being nice and cooperative. He says, I'll let you shoot me as long as you feed me. It's important that I don't handle him after he feeds so it doesn't stress him out so he does not regurgitate or spit up his mouse that would stress him out. It's actually pretty easy to make a mouse or a snake re regurgitate. There's a video on YouTube of Anaconda that's spitting up a taper of a say it's a horse or a hippo. It's actually a taper. And that item was too big for it, so it was actually a good thing that, that they're making the anaconda spit it up. It's not very hard. You just push at the bottom where the prey item is, and it'll start coming out. Let's stress the snake out. Don't do that unless you really need to. Wow, he's done eating. I probably should not be in this close. But you can see his nice belly coloring there. He actually does have some color on him. I think he's yawned. I don't know. We'll see.